Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your love reading from now to the end of April 2020 as I am releasing these videos a little early. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have. So I'm using a reading card, not used these in quite a while actually, so be interesting to see what message we get. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides in Love. Now to the end of April 2020. Message for Libra in love, please. Thank you. Patience. Patience. It could be go at your own pace or go at somebody else's pace. This can be allowing things to unfold naturally, Libra. Giving you or somebody else space and time. Beautiful. But I kind of think when I see patience, it's worth the wait. Okay. Angels, what is the message, please? Angel Spirits Guides. For Libra in love. Now to the end of April 2020. What do we have for Libra, please? Our lovely Librans. Yeah, it's a kind of a similar message, Libra. <laughs> we have surrender. And that is just going with the flow. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is echoing the patience card as well. Um, it says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay. Okay, angels, what is the message, please, for Libra in love? Now to the end of April 2020. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have self-confidence through God-confidence, and it is whatever God means to you. Believe in yourself by believing in God, working through you. Like I said, there's an element of just surrender, let things unfold, everything happens in its own time. Okay. So as usual, Libra, I pull five cards and then we get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. So we look at the challenge you face in love, how you feel about the other person. That could be a past, present or potential relationship that you're looking at. Same rules apply with the third card. It is, it is how they feel about you. Fourth card is the advice from spirit. And the fifth card is the outcome should you take that advice. It probably won't resonate for everybody. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay, what do we have? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Card of Capricorn. This is the challenge you face. Okay, how you feel about the other person, we have the card of strength. How they feel about you, we have the knight of wands. Advice from spirit, we have the four of cups. And the outcome, we have the eight of wands, Libra. Okay, let's get some clarifiers on the table. Angel Spirits, guys, can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for Libra in love? Now to the end of April 2020. What do we have for Libra in love, please? Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles with the challenge position to start off with. We have the King of Cups, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. The eight, sorry, the, the card, number eight, uh, the strength card, we have the Six of Wands. I'm going to pull one more card. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, the Knight 
of Wands, how they feel about you, the Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Cups, Libra, is clarified by the Three of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Star. Okay, okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So these are male or female energies, Libra. We have a Scorpio and we have a card of Capricorn here. And the Strength card is a card of Leo. Knight of Wands is a card of Sagittarius. Star card is a card of Aquarius. So sometimes those people might mean, mean somebody or some people in your life. Um, the Queen of Pentacles card of Capricorn, she is patient. And it kind of echoes with the cards that are on the table. She understands how to be patient, trust her instincts. I feel that there is something, I mean, she understands how to bring value, success, material success. She understands how to use her practical abilities, know-how, knowledge to focus them and really bring growth into her life. I feel for some of you, you're being asked, what do you want to focus on now? Because there's an opportunity to bring more value into your life. But there's the feeling with the Queen of Pentacles that you have to stay on track. If you fall off the track, that's where you fall prey to doubts, insecurities, instabilities, all of that kind of thing. So this is very much about staying focused, staying on track to bring real value into your life in whatever context. Now, it might well be a Capricorn is offering you something of value, as could be the King of Cups. It could be somebody who embodies both of these signs too. The King of Cups is, now I will say, this person has mastered their emotions and sometimes they may seem like a closed book Libra and that's why I feel for some of you you're being told to just go at a steady pace give them space um, let things unfold naturally there's a level of patience here because you know the king of cups is is somebody who is a, is a bit difficult to read male or female energies so I feel that is the challenge and because you can't read them because you don't know what is going on underneath the surface necessarily Libra and I feel this is a a, a new relationship or a potential relationship for some of you those insecurities come to light you start thinking do I or don't I go forward with this person because I can't read them I don't know whether you know I've been hurt before so I don't know whether to invest uh, my energy my time into this there is a hesitation there is a guarded energy with the four of pentacles the six of wands is saying whatever obstacle that this is you can overcome it but there's a level of patience that's needed I feel for some of you, your fears, your insecurities, your doubts are raising their heads. And this is about finding that strength, that courage from within to overcome that. So that's how I'm feeling about the person in question, Libra. You know, they, this King of Cups, this person who is offering you something, they are just all in. They see the promise of growth in a relationship. I think this is a new relationship, a new opportunity. They see that they can build on something with you. So I feel as far as they're concerned, they see they see your insecurities unfounded. I don't think they realize they're doing it. Because this is somebody who is all in. They are just going for it. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands can be that, that energy, that drive just to, to go for something. 
let's give it a go let's see if it works you know they see value in this relationship something to build upon advice from spirit is to give it a go you see the four of the fours in tarot can be sometimes about reflection they can be about stillness uh, contemplation getting clarity but they can also be about stagnation and a little bit of holding yourself back through fear and this is the divine nudge card saying there is something this opportunity ahead will up, will be uplifting it is worth a go Libra you know this is when you actually focus your energies your efforts begin to allow yourself to go for this relationship and I feel you are being offered love here and I feel you're hesitant because you may have been hurt in the past there is a level of you will get reward there is reward to this relationship there is growth in this relationship it is passionate it is exciting it is um, it promises real growth and reward so don't miss this opportunity that's what I feel some of you are told and again the fours like I said four of pentacles four of cups you may have been burned before in a relationship and that's why you're hesitating guarding to do with this person because you can't read them and um, there's a level of, of you might need to go at your own pace you might need to be given some space in this area it might not be the other person but they're all in I feel they are all in they see it as a new adventure they want to take a new adventure with you they see it as an opportunity something solid to build on so I think they are committed here I don't think they'll see anybody else there's an element of go with the flow communication leads to solid opportunities there's growth here there's positive change things can really shift step up a pace I feel um, you need to get the bigger perspective see the bigger picture there is new growth when the star appears this is about hopes dreams dare to dream now I feel for some of you there is a sense of renewal something at the beginnings of growth that can really bring and match your hopes dreams in reality because that's what the star is and it's divinely guided energy so it's such a beautiful energy I feel things are going to become clear and communication conversations with this person will probably allow things to step up a pace but I think it's at first it's just take it slow and yeah and I just think things will unfold naturally it is beautiful Libra I'm going to pull the card to finish off the reading. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Libra and Love now to the end of April 2020? Um, Libra, yeah, things are about to get really juicy. <laughs> oh, I love these cards. Um, a little heads up on the addiction that afflicts all really old souls. Giving love eventually becomes even greater, an even greater need than receiving love. See, you're not strange. Love the universe. And I do feel there is an opportunity things are gonna step up pace there is a promise of free real growth we're going from a three of ones to the eight of ones um, but this is just overcoming I feel your own insecurities your own fears and doubts because you don't have a full picture of the situation but I think you are gonna get that yeah I hope you enjoyed the reading Libra if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time thank you